What in the wild world of sports is going on here? I hope they didn't catch them shrimp right here in the bayou and just left it there. Hi, Mickey Bone Gang. Vinny here down in southeast Louisiana. Now the shrimp are still running. And uh, I kind of had an idea because like, I've been just catching shrimp right here by this little bridge by my house. And then went over a couple parishes over with Jared. We were catching shrimp over there. But I want to see just how many places today we can catch some shrimp in my area. Because, uh, I mean, if they're right here in this little canal that's running off the main bayou, they got to be in the main bayou, right? So that's what I'm going to do. We're going to start right here in the usual place. Make sure we can get some shrimp. Make sure they're out, yeah. And then uh, we might hit a couple of other spots just to see if we can find them out there. And maybe they get bigger, smaller, less, more. A little experiment, you know. One thing for sure, the Louisiana State bird is out in full force today. Them daggum mosquitoes is chewing me up. All right, here we go. First toss of the morning. Let's see what we got. Oh, terrific. A little bit of everything, y'all. A little bit of everything on that first cast. We got a couple shrimp. See that little shrimp right there? Then we got some pogey or shad. I'm not sure what the difference. And I mean, I know the difference, but I'm not sure how to tell the difference necessarily. And then we got that daggum infamous catfish that likes to get caught up in my net. <sighs> so let me get that out of there. And that's why I hate them little daggum catfish. Oh, I'll tell you what. Got a lot of fish swimming in the water. You know, tell them what we're going to come up with. It was heavy. It was just my imagination. One shrimp. One measly little shrimp. Came here yesterday evening to see if there was some shrimp. And there was a lot of shrimp and a lot of big shrimp. But uh, I guess they knew we were pulling the camera out. And they get a little camera shot from time to time. All right, so since this happened to work the last time, or at least it seemed to work the last time when I was out there with Jared, uh, we're gonna throw some dog food down there on the bottom. And a lot of y'all said that y'all used to do that and it worked. So I'm trying to take this paper off so I don't litter. Stick that in my pocket. Don't need no more trash on the bar, yeah. And I'm gonna stab a few holes like that. All the way around, this is New York strip flavor. See if these shrimp got some fancy taste. All right. Oh no, all our juices is falling out. All right, hold on, can, hold on, can. I'm gonna use this rope. This rope is from a cast net that we lost. Which, by the way, is a good chance we'll lose another one today because we're going to some spots I ain't never true before. Come on now. All right. Yeah. Oh, put my hand right in the juice. That's terrific. Absolutely terrific. All right, let the can hit the bottom. Uh-oh. I need to tie this to something. Hmm. 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 I think I tossed it out a little too soon. Let's see. Can we stick it right here? Is it going to go nowhere? Yeah, you sit right there for a second until I figure something out. This looks good. Mm-hmm. There we go. That ought to keep it there for a little while. All right, that can, I can see the rope right there. So it's probably like right there. We're gonna throw it just in front of that because the tide seems to be moving that way. So hopefully it'll be pushing the juices that way and that's where the shrimp are gonna, gonna congregate in theory. I tell you what, every time I throw it, it must be mullet or something running. But they're everywhere. What we got? Got a couple of uh, fish in here. What that is? Got a little baby croaker. Got a little baby perch. A little red ear sunfish, looks like. Okay. Oh, and a shrimp. That's a tiny shrimp. All right, we're throwing all of them back. Oh, no, that's a decent shrimp. He ain't going back. There goes the perch. All right, Mr. Croaker. Even though you're really good bait, I'm not fishing, so you go grow some more. This little guy going back. Come here, shrimp. You need to grow for sure, too. You, though. You're going to be in my belly. Oh, look at that shrimp. I missed that one. Must have got more than two. Mmm. 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 Two. Better size, though. I like this guy. This guy's nice. He's nice. Oh yeah, a couple like that, we can make a sandwich. Ooh, looks like the shrimp a little bit further to the left. Look at this. 
There we go. There we go. Got to mess up them now, buddy. Look, they falling out, doesn't it? That's a little bit better. Here, let me dump them on the ground so we can see what we got. Look at that. That's one cast there, cuz that's what I'm talking about. Not giant, but that's some good, uh, some good jambalaya size shrimp right there. Maybe some fried rice. Maybe some, 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 some shrimp fettuccine. I'll take it. I'm gonna take it. All right, we're gonna try and toss it right back in that same spot. See if they're all just hanging out there or whatnot. Uh oh. Ooh, there's something down there that was trying to grab onto it. Oh, that's why I got big old fish in there. A lot of shrimp though. A lot more shrimp though. Look at that. Dude, and they big too. Look at these. That's some nice shrimp there, buddy. That's what we're looking for. They over there in that corner right there. Hold on, Mr. Mullet. I'm gonna get you out. That's what I'm talking about. Oh yeah. That's way better. Way better. Way better. Calm down. Calm down. Get out of here. Woo! I'm hung up. Alright. See, the problem with experimenting is, hold on, let these calls pass. So the problem with experimenting is, uh, now we found the shrimp, I don't want to leave. But I got to, because that's the whole point of this. All right, same spot, same spot. Where's our dog food? It's still there. I wonder why they're right there, not right here. What's the what's the difference? Yep, got some more, some more decent ones. Not as many though, but they're in there. They're in there. Let's see if we can get them in the bucket without having to chase them all around the the bridge. Yeah, that was easier. That was way easier. You can go back. Man, stop jumping out the bucket. Oh, there we go. Got a few. They're getting bigger. All right, let's give her a toss right on a dog food can, see what happens. See if they've congregated. Where we at? Right there. Let's swing right along. Oh, there we go. That ought to be right on it. Oop. Just felt something hit my leg. It was a daggone shrimp trying to get away. Come here, boy. All right, let's see what we got. Yeah, don't look like the dog food doing much today. That's just two. Cool. Whoa. Man, kind of wish I was fishing, huh? That's some big ones in this one. <laughs> yeah. That's some burling size right there. Look at these two. Look at this big mammal. Come here. Come here. I'm trying to show the people. Look at that boy right there. Wish they was all like that. Come here, little crab. Get out of here. Come here. Come here. Ow! Ow! Even the little ones hurt. Jeez them. Yeah, look, there's another good one right there. Look at that. Take that, boy. All right, y'all. So this got me wondering. Hold on. My net's caught on my pants. All right. This got me wondering. Uh, I'm catching all the shrimp right here in this little pocket right here. Not so much over there, not even on the dog food. So, got me kind of wondering if they got shrimp in this little spot, but not this spot. We might end up traveling all over the feet and uh, not catching shrimp anywhere else. So, it's kind of got me worried. So, I'm going to make a few more casts right here just to make sure I got enough for, for lunch. And then, uh, we'll go try another spot. Just think about that. I can't hear you. It's a camera. So, you said something. I'll didn't hear it all right so the spot i wanted to go to went over there and apparently they're building a flood wall over there very similar to this one and uh you couldn't get to it so i'm out here at the next spot right here so before we go and just start throwing the cast net all willy-nilly i'm gonna get a little bonus magnet fishing in just to see if they got any snags down there try not to get hung up on them you know Oh, yep, there's a rock. Feels like it might just be rocks, though. Hmm, I don't know. That feels very hangy. Line two. Uh, 
Nope. We found something. Piece of wire. But I think we'll be safe to throw it right there. Let's go try over here a little bit. Hmm. I don't know, man. It's pretty sketchy. There's definitely a lot of metal down there. Oh, yeah. Look, we hung up. God dang it. Now I'm going to lose my magnet. Nope. There we go. Okay. We'll throw the cast net one time behind that boat. And then we're moving on because uh, I don't want to lose nothing. All right. Here goes nothing. Oh, this makes me nervous. Yeah. Cause I don't want to go back to the store and have to spend thirty, forty dollars on another cast net today. I don't feel no snags right there. Just gotta pull it up quick when it gets close to the bank. Well, that don't look good. No. So the first two spots didn't work out. One, cause I couldn't get to it. The other one, it wasn't no daggum shrimp. And uh, the other spot at that spot had a lot of hangups. But I called my boy Tofield Bourgeois. And he let me come over here at Bourgeois Fishing Charters. Look at that place, huh? Check that out. And you can stay there. I'm going to put the link in the description below. Y'all check that out if you want a true bayou adventure. But got this nice dock right here. Got all these boats. But I'm going to go right out there. Got a little green platform. And we're going to test that out to see if we can't find some shrimp. First, I'm going to throw the magnet again. Because we're trying not to lose another cast net. I'm going to throw that magnet first. And then we're going to throw that cast net and see what they got. Oh, man. Yeah, look at that, cousin. I like this. Check that out. That's what I'm talking about. Let's see if we can take a step on this thing. Woo look at that. I like this. Gotta get me one of these. Let's toss this out here and see if there's any. Whoa. I like to throw my leg off. It's surprisingly not very deep. Don't feel like there's nothing down there but mud. Oh yeah, I think we're good to go. Yeah, ain't nothing but mud. All right, let's go get that cast net. All right, there's two things I'm noticing. One good, one not so good. The not so good is I don't see really any current. Well, yeah, those lilies are moving a little bit, so the water is kind of flowing that way. But the good thing is you see all them birds right there? They probably eating on some shrimp. At least that's what I hope. I hope they're doing. Hopefully we got some shrimp around here. Yeah? Man, I really like this little dock. Let's try to see what happens. Well, if you throw it better than that, you might get something cut. Yeah, see, it's already on the bottom right there. There's no, really no depth right there. Oh, ho, 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 ho. <laughs> but we got a nice shrimp on the first cast. That's a good sign, y'all. That is a good sign, y'all. Look at that. Bad cast, but we got a shrimp. That means they in the main by you. Get some water here in this bucket. Tell you what, this is a lot easier than throwing from that bridge. Man, we got all kind of stuff in this thing. Look at this. What we got here? Ooh, we got some shrimp. Check that out. We got some baby speckle trouts. There you go, buddy. Get back in there. I don't want to uh, we'll leave y'all out the water too bad, too long. Man, we got a stick. That stick out there. There we go, though. We got some shrimp. We got some shrimp. They're not exactly filling up the net, but we found some shrimp. That's two places now we know they got shrimp. One in the main bayou and one in the little canal off the bayou. And let's toss it off the side over here. See, we got a different, different uh, something. You know what I'm trying to say. What am I trying to say? See, we got better luck in a different spot. That's that's what I'm trying to say. Well, that's really shallow right there. And no. Let's try it to the left. Oh, yeah. That seemed to work at the bridge, so let's throw it to the left over here. Ooh, there we go. Got a few more. Let's see what we got in that cast. Ooh, got the big one still stuck in the net. Come on out. Come on out. Tell you what, we're not catching quite as many, but more of these are nice size. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven shrimps. I mean, that's enough for a breakfast taco right there. I mean, look at that. That's not bad shrimp. That's not bad. Why these shrimp are everywhere? Got them by the house. We got them down the road a little ways. A bunch of them videos I've been doing are down there with Jared. Is down there in St. Bernard. I think we went to uh, three different places down there and was catching shrimp. Um, oh, oh, oh. Almost lost one. But man, if y'all got a cast net, go find some moving water down on the bayou somewhere and throw it. Because uh, 
Them shrimps is everywhere. Boy, this zipper is in the worst spot on these pants to be throwing cast nets. Keeps getting hung up. But that ain't your problem, nice. Ooh, that wind is fighting me when I throw this cast net. It's blowing right at me. Right at me. Yeah, there's a lot of birds right there feeding. I can only assume that's what they're eating. But who knows? Ooh, got some bait fish. Y'all get out of here. It seems like the biggest shrimp on the main body. Look at that. Not as many. I mean, we still got some little shrimp right there, but that's some big boys right there. That's what I'm looking for. Ooh, birds are moving closer. And birds are moving closer, y'all. Hopefully that means the shrimp are moving closer. If that's even what they're eating, they might just be eating some uh some bait fish or something. Or something. Ooh, it looks like shrimp bouncing right there. Let me, let me, get, let me get this in there. Like some shrimp was popping. Oh, look at the size of that dude. Look at the size of that boy. Now, I don't know if y'all know this, but whenever you throw in a cast net, like if you're just throwing it out there for bait fish, you throw it out there, let it sink, and then you could just start pulling it in. But when you're looking for shrimp, them shrimp like to stay on the bottom during the daytime. So you throw it out there, you let it sink. But when you go to pull it in, don't just pull it. Kind of bounce it a little bit like that so that net can scrape the bottom as it comes in. And you pull them up, you got them. Ooh, they was jamming. Come the wave. Tell you what, ain't got no numbers, but I'll take the size. Uh-oh, I think we got a fish in this one. We got a fish or it's a giant shrimp. None of the above. Oh, no, we got a little fish. Oh, no, not a cat. They got catfish over here, too. Oh, I can't believe he come out that easy. Yeah, look at the birds. I can see stuff popping on top of the water, stuff chasing the bait in the water. So whatever it is, a big old ball or something that they eating. I'm going to say a shrimp. Cause, Cause that's what I want it to be. Gee, look at the bait we got in this one, cuz. Oh, and I'm gonna have to empty them all out on this dock because of that big shrimp in there, and I don't want to lose that big shrimp. So we're gonna have to go ahead. I mean, look at the pogey. Look at. That. I wish, I wish that's what we was hunting for. God, dog, get out of here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, I just threw the shrimp back. No. Oh no, the big one's still in there. Okay, I did lose a good shrimp. Come here, y'all. Yeah. Wee! Wee! Goodness gracious, look at the pogey. Uh, Alright, come here. Where's that shrimp? Where you at? I hear you ticking. There he is. Look at that big boy. Look at that dude. He's pretty. Mm -hmm. Man, they just popping right there. Just popping up everywhere. I think I caught half the pool here I just put back, but we got some shrimp. A couple more nice ones. I mean, it ain't gonna feed the whole family, but it's gonna make a meal for me and the wife, I guarantee. Oh my goodness. We got something big in there. Something big. What is this? Oh no, we caught on the dock again. Oh, it's a drum, I can hear him. Yep, little baby black drum, little puppy drum. Probably eating on them shrimps. What you doing, buddy? Hold on, we're gonna get you out. Yeah, there you go. Felt him hitting the net when I closed it up. Whoo, there we go. That whole cast was a nice one. Look at that. Man, that's what I'm screaming. Get away. Hey, come here. No, come here. So Tofio passed by when I was uh, just about to wrap up throwing that cast net and he yelled out from the parking lot and said, hey, what time the ball is? And I was like, dude, bro, it's going to take a lot more shrimp than this to make a big ball like we do it. You know what I'm saying? And he yelled out, he said, just cook them in the microwave. And I was like, <laughs> so then that had me thinking the rest of the time I had to go ask him. I'm like, hey. You ever cook shrimp in the microwave? Well, you was just joking. He said, no, I ain't never done it, but I'm kind of curious now how that's going to taste. Well, we fit in to find out. So I did what any red-blooded American would do, and I, I Googled it, or YouTubed it. And sure enough, there was a chef and a couple other folks that uh, cook shrimp in the microwave. This is one of the easy recipes done by a chef, no less. I hope they don't serve in a restaurant like this, but 
We about to find out what hot taste. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take me a little bit of butter. Got me about a tablespoon of that butter right there. Pop that garlic open. Stick a little bit of that. Mmm. Right there on top of that. And I'm gonna stick that in the microwave for a minute. Let that butter melt. All right, so we uh, might have blown a breaker back there in the nest, so I had to come up to the kitchen and uh, got a butter melted though in this microwave right here. Thank goodness we got two. Now that the butter, now that the butter and garlic is all melty and warm, we got our shrimps. Check this out. I even peeled them all fancy, then got the peeling off, but just left that little tip of the tail like the restaurants do it. So for the seasoning, we got some parsley. I'm gonna sprinkle some parsley up in there. Give it a little color, give it a little flavor. A little black pepper. Come on now. There you go. There you go. Ooh, too much, too much. And a little bit of that Cajun Creole, baby. Yeah, a little bit of that Cajun Creole, baby. Then I'm gonna go ahead and stir it up with this here spoon. In case you wanna know what that look like. And I'm gonna take our little fancy, fancy shrimp. I'm gonna dip it on one side, I'm gonna flip it on the other. Do that to all five of them. Dip and flip. I'm gonna give them a little spiral pattern for presentation. How's that look? Almost look like I know what I'm doing. Then I'm gonna stick this in here in this here microwave for about a minute. Why ain't it working? There you go. About to break the other one. Looks like shrimp. Looks pretty good too. Woo, still a little hot. We'll give it a second. Butter's good. Here it goes. Now this might be by you blasphemy and I might get a bunch of hate mail and death threats, but uh, Shrimp from the microwave don't taste too bad. Oh, I'll tell you what. Want a quick meal? Just bring the cast net out to the buyer, make a few casts, get you a few shrimp, slap them in some butter, and cook them for a minute in the microwave. I ain't lying, y'all. Y'all gotta try that. That's pretty good. Might have to try something else now. That's got me curious. What if I can ball shrimp in the microwave? Well, there you go, folks. We done been everywhere from one end of Lafitte to the other. Done been to one end of St. Bernard to the other. In previous videos, that is. Uh, I wish I could have got to that pier because I guarantee there would have been some shrimp there, too. But they're everywhere. Now, I did catch bigger ones in the main bayou. But more of them in a the little canal off the bayou. But uh, I say we got some data. We achieved some goals. And then... We learned something new. So that's why I encourage y'all, get out there, try something new if you ain't tried it before, cause you never know. Look at that, I'd have never known unless I tried that. I could take somebody's word for it, but you know, what they know. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Hit that thumbs up button if you like it. Subscribe if you haven't. I'll catch you on the next one. Thanks for stopping by.